Hello guys and welcome to the second tutorial of Objection.Bull Academy. Today we're going to learn the advanced triggers, well advanced actions, and yeah that's what this episode is going to be about. So like always when you get on Objection.Bull you start with a simple objection, just click the three dash lines and go to Objection Maker. Now you'll see I have an objection laid out, um, eight, I think 170 frames for right now. I'm going to expand upon it, but for right now, we're going to clear it. I forgot to tell you, we have all these uh, five options. We got assets, save, load, clear, and help. Now, we won't be going over these. We're only going over the gear button or cold actions. And we went over yesterday, move to immediately to the next frame and merge with next. Today in this episode we're going to be looking at the actions and fade. Now let's start with the fade. Fade is simplistic, you know. You have fade out, which I'll show you. You can do background character or scene. For the character you can do this. Um, I haven't really got it working because I never really did it before. But I assume I assume we can make the character fade out. Linear, maybe ease in. And then we do this. Well, I guess that won't work. But it's fine. We're only gonna be focusing on the fade for right now, and then we'll move on to the actions. So what fade out does is it essentially blacks out a certain section or whatever color you want so for simplistic purposes we're just going to go to background um, the easing you can choose between any of these then just be using linear now for your fade in you want to make sure you have the same settings fade in the background Let's change the pose to desk clamp and here it is. As you can see, it works just fine. Um, but that's just what background does. Uh, we already done character, the scene. It excludes, it blacks out everything except the, the, uh, the text box. So for example, didn't black out and then we got everything which blacks literally everything out as you can see here everything's blacked out now that's what fade does now let's move on to the action so let's clear And start again. So let's start with all. Let's go over all the actions first. We got the dialog, toggle, visibility, height. And so essentially, what it will do is let's remove it, add it. Let's say hello. Now, if we put hi. Or who? Um, basically, essentially, is you can hide it. So, for example, if you're doing a pause and you can put this on, and essentially, if the text appears, then it will show up. So, for example, you can do 500. Hi. Yep, looks just fine. Now, you can also do this for, you can also combine the two, to fade, fade out, everything, and you can do this. See, text box disappears, and the fading goes. So, that's what the toggle visibility does. Now, we got 
two gallery signs. We're only going to be going over one because the AJ one is essentially the same as just the normal one. So, here we go. Now, since we got this, let's change this to gallery. Let's make it a idle. And when we preview it, you'll notice there's no one, and only me a fake. Well, that's because she is assigned. So we can add more people. For example, go to the assigned character. Um, we can put me a fake. No, wait, not me a fake. We can put Maya for the prosecutor. We could put Not it. And for the judge, you can just simply put the judge or the judge's brother. And so, as you can see, we got everyone here, which is fine. I forgot to tell you that you have to put the attorney before you put the defense counsel um, because it will glitch out. But yep, that's what this action does. Same goes for AJ, which I will demonstrate right now. Sign character. The audience. I will. As you can see, it looks just fine too. Now, we'll be going over the off screen speech bubble. Now, we'll just want to do this real quick. For example, let's just get a random character. Confident. We'll just say that's wrong. Right, we'll have the prosecution object. Wrong. We'll change it maybe to point. Right? So, normally, how it goes is what you see is it'll go like that. However, when you put off screen speech bubble, it will go like this. Like it says, use this action to make the screen, uh, the off screen speech bubble, the character will not show. As it states, that is true. The character is not showing. So then we can make another frame at Apollo. And we can just do it like this. And see, here's how it works. Of course, you want to make sure you set this to move to immediately to next frame because it's going to look wonky. See, like that. Now, we can clear again. Add frame. So now that you know what most of these action does, let's move on. Display a pop-up. You got cross-examination with his testimony. Um, these are self-explanatory. For example, <laughs> and of course, if we go here, actions, uh, testimony label. Wait a thousand seconds. We go to actions again. We go here and we see remove a pop up. Testimony labels the only one because the others end. See? No one to show. So let's move on. So now we got this done. We have mute speech blip for this frame. Set the speech bit in, ten, in uh, center of the text. This one's self-explanatory. Let's say, then run some random text. Remove this. See? 
soon if we remove it, you'll see that it really is muted. Mm -hmm. And then this one's also self-explanatory, the next action, which is set the speech blip. Um, male, female, typewriter, echoing blip. For, for example, we can do Katonk. See, spoke like it. And we can go to actions and, you know, maybe want to get creative. Set it to the echoing blip. Which is usually used in uh, Perceive. And then we got our last action, which is center the text. Which is self-explanatory. For example, we can put more random text and centers. So now that we got that out of the way, I want to uh, go to the help and information tab. This will give you general information on how to stuff. And as you can see, it even says here general. Um, as you can see, tags cannot be nested, your, your work is automatically saved in your browser for 5 seconds, uh, you can hide the nameplate with a single dot, and we'll go over the custom characters tomorrow, but yes, you can only have up to 500 frames. That is the most important one out of this. Judge is self-explanatory, you can use objection uh, to slam the gavel, the music, you select it, there's also custom music, we'll go over that next episode too. Sounds the same thing, we went over that. Frame flow. This is important too. The frame lands in the following mode. Frame, if any, frame actions, if any, frame body. It's basically saying frame fade will be priority number one. If there is no frame fade, it will go to frame actions. If there is no frame actions, it will just go to your normal objection frame. Evidence, uh, we'll go over that next episode since it's very important. Um, there's also the Twitter, and, uh, yeah, uh, Discord too. Export MP4. This is very, very important for you mobile users out here. If you are planning to submit, uh, a video as your submission, please be aware that export will record up to 8 minutes only, 7 minutes only, if you use the recording tool, there's no restriction. And for us, the recording tool is only a X file, so we can't really open it. However, this is kind of misleading since it does not record up to 7 minutes, but up to 8 minutes. Um, hopefully they correct that. Um, yeah, giving you the general stuff. Keyboard shortcuts. Uh, mobile users, that's not important. And yeah, you know everything about this. So, I think that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and see you next time, I guess, in the next episode.